Stephen, we'd like to take this chance to, to talk about international track and field opportunities for younger athletes. Firstly, how important is that on our athlete pathway? Uh, I think it's very important. I think it's getting more important. Um, at times you could feel, it, it, it's an interesting question, it's a good question. The last time I was up in Scotland, you know, one of my reflections back was um, we kind of got stuck into a um, like a British competition scenario type thing where mostly young athletes and particularly the transition in athletes from junior into senior still unless they went to some of the EAP meets in Europe you know their only sort of outlet was um, domestic competition in Scotland and also you know going down into England or, or whatever you're not really challenging yourself that much particularly from an environment perspective and the ability to travel so um, yeah I think it's very important that we look at that we do something about that and we give people the opportunity to develop. The Celtic Games at under 16 and under 18 level was, was at a very busy time of the year for, for yeah. athletes in that age group. That's now been dropped from, from the fixture list. Yeah. Those athletes should have an opportunity to compete in the SIAB Track and Field International and the UK School Games. Will that be enough, do you hope? It should be enough, um, particularly in that level. Um, I suppose, first and foremost, the Celtic Games filled um, a, a massive co competition opportunity at a given time for for athletes um, in that under 16, under 18 age group. Um, but things develop a lot and the competition program has developed a lot. So you do have UK school games, you do have the schools international, but also you've got sort of our own championships that are very competitive, but also the British championships that are competitive that at that time as well. So yeah, the Celtic Games is no longer part of our competition pathway, but um, and, and we need to look at sort of a little bit older than that. So how do they go from under 16 now to under 18, under 20, under 23? Are we giving people the, the, the proper competition opportunities at, at that age is a little bit older rather than concentrate on everything in that sort of mid to late teens? Well, just coming to that, the under 20 level in 2018, we did have a, a sort of pilot at the Welsh International for yeah. under 20s and also an academy team trip to Guernsey. Yeah. So do you envisage us working to try and give the under 20s more opportunities massively i think it's a crucial age group i think it's a it's an age group where we have to retain athletes as well and and you know particularly the multi-talented athletes who are getting attracted to other sports so we have to be able to give them a, an outlet but also for their own development as well i think that absolutely absolutely that we do you know the guernsey international i think um you know that from from what i've heard that that's been good and certainly it's something that we need to explore as the Welsh under 20 one as well but we need to do more than that as well and we need to um, you know we need to be creative in how we actually do things. So so in recent years th there actually hasn't been a great deal of opportunities to compete for Scotland at under 20 or under 23 in track yeah. and field so how are, how can we explore that 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 field and see, see if there's somewhere else that we can go? Yeah I think it's one of the things that you know again has sort of come really it's, it's been highlighted to me how important it is to compete in a Scottish singlet and to you know and, and to people to actually compete for Scotland is massively important and I think we have to remember that but we have to sort of marry that as well with I think the days of of full teams and that traveling um, are it's expensive and it's hard to manage the, uh, everything like that but um, there's no reason why they can't be small internationals. So um, I am being creative, I am looking at things, so I'm negotiating at the moment with um, some of the European countries and, and countries with population sort of similar sizes to ourselves or regions of countries that have um, population sizes or their cells and, and trying to ensure that our athletes have the ability to enter competitions there. So would your message to sort of athletes and coaches in that bracket simply be sort of watch this space really absolutely yeah and and um you know it'll be probably now after christmas but i'd be very confident in securing international opportunities for that age group i think it's very important um you know but i, I, I would qualify that by saying you know it's not going to be a, a mass exodus from scotland to into europe to do these things it'll be very carefully structured very measured it'll be at a, a level of competition that's slightly above that we would normally get and it'll be challenging and if it isn't challenging it's not worthwhile doing so yeah watch the space is probably the right way to describe it. Thanks Stephen. Thank you.